Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your October reading. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. I don't know where my box is. I'm going to start with this one then I'm going to clarify with that one right over there. Um, and uh, yeah, so typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. This is for the month of October. Keep in mind that this may not resonate at this time, might resonate at the end of October. Also, if you feel confused by this reading, it's not for you. If you do not believe in tarot readings, it's not for you. Gemini. <laughs> okay. Well, you could be traveling. You could be traveling, you could be thinking about traveling, you may be thinking about moving, but whatever's happening, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. So you've learned your lesson in one situation, and you're about to embark on a new chapter, okay? So it looks as though you have a new beginning in front of you, and it's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, the door is opening, and you're seeing the light, so... You're at a crossroads. Do you, you know, do you go forward? Do you stay where you're at? It looks as, it looks to me like you guys are moving forward. You're moving into something better. That's what it looks like to me. Um, you have two paths. You do. You have two paths in front of you. And I feel like you guys are about to go down the new one. I mean, that's what this looks like to me. Hmm. There's, well, the thing is, if you, if you take a look at this, you could say that this is the past and this is the future, okay? So I think in the past, you may have been involved in a situation that was definitely less than abundant, okay? There wasn't a lot of abundance there, probably a let, um, not equal give and take. Um, things were unbalanced and probably you may have felt... Um, like, it, it just wasn't enough. Something was missing. Something was missing. Somebody, you know, this is a deserving more, you know. Nothing to be grateful for. You know, not nothing, but, you know, it's like I'm not grateful. I'm not grateful for something. Not feeling abundant. You know, it even almost feels like there's been some sort of loss Maybe it's loss of money. Maybe you've lost some money or something like that. You know, this is also worth, upright. It's about worth. And maybe there's even been a loss of self-worth. It's a loss of abundance, either way you look at it. Abundance can be financial or inner. So yeah, there's a loss of abundance here. Mmm. -hmm. There could be some addictions at play, okay? There could be some addictions that are costing you money. Or you could have been manipulated by a player. I mean, it can go many ways. But this is about listening to your intuition. It's about believing. It's about following your own path. This is focus. And this is kind of like, starting on a brand new adventure yeah because he's this is this could be like an entrepreneur and this is a new beginning so i don't know if you guys are thinking about starting your own business you know i don't like to gear these towards money but you know you guys may be considering you know starting your own business and if you do it looks like you'll be very successful because this is success um but this is about regaining focus and, and uh confidence yeah and strength wow Slow and steady. All right. So, Gemini, it looks as though you have some... Uh, well, first of all, we only have two reversals. So, that's real good. It's like the only thing that's absent in your life is abundance. Okay? That, that's what's absent, okay? Maybe it's maybe you don't have enough money or this is self-worth. Okay, so that's absent. This is about believe in yourself. Follow your own path. Take baby steps. 
to face your demons. This is demon sabotage. You could be sabotaging yourself or somebody else is sabotaging you. Maybe you're in a one-sided relationship. That could be the case. Could be holding you back. If you're in a if you're in a situation that is driven perhaps only by lust and you're dealing with somebody who isn't putting in equal amount of effort. I mean, that could certainly be the case here. This is finding the courage and the confidence and the strength to refocus and go down a new route, go down a new road. Okay. So I think that this is what is happening here. I think that you guys are, are gaining back your power. You are. You're gaining back your power. So, but there's still this, this situation right here in the middle that is hindering you. It is. It's hindering you. Could be this person because they're mirroring each other. So this is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Leo. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus here as well. So, you know, this is Capricorn. So, but these two are mirroring each other. There's some sort of toxic situation. I mean, that's what this is. That you need to find the courage and the confidence to do something. We're going to get some clarifiers now. You need to find strength to deal with this demon, whatever it is. Whatever this demon is, it's not doing anything for you. It's really not. It's hindering you. And you're being called to go down that new path. But you're going to have to find the strength to do so. You have to be practical here to face this demon. This is absolutely a test. You could be dealing with a very charming individual. Just saying. Listen to your intuition, your inner guide at this time. Because it's going to give you some, some um, answers. But you've got to be listening. Well, look at that. Okay. So you need to find the strength. Now, this card is the same as this card. And this right here, this right here, this is the Page of Cups reversed. So you may be dealing with somebody who really can't love. And that's probably what you need to face. It's like you're wrestling. You are. You're wrestling with going down that new path. You're wrestling with this toxic situation and strength. Look what's in the middle. Do you have the strength to face this? Whatever it is. You could be involved with somebody that's very sexually attractive. You know, very... Um, there's a magnetic attraction, right? There is. There's, there is. There's desires. You're tempted. They're, they're pulling you towards them. But maybe you know it's not for, for your highest good. And you need to find the strength to... To get out of this situation, you see this is looking out. You need to find the strength to move on, to regain your focus. Because it feels like whoever this is, they're, they're, they're stealing your abundance. Whether it's inner, your inner abundance or your outer abundance, it's like they're not, it's not helping you. Okay, it's not. Oh, God, it's causing a lot of worries. Okay, we have a lot of worries here. We have, um, this is the Nine of Swords. It's like they're ripping you apart. It's like they're tearing you apart inside. Or this decision is tearing you apart because of the attraction. Now, the attraction is right here. The devil is a fatal attraction. Okay, it is. I mean, do you really want to play this game? Do you want to be dominated by this person? Now we have the Knight of Wands. I mean, this person doesn't usually stay. This person is very impulsive. You know, that you're being called to take action at this time. You need to take action. Act now, think later. What, what path do you really want? What path do you want? You want the path that is based on lies because the devil's lies, okay? Do you? Or do you want the path that is going to lead to success? Now, this is four of pentacles. It says stability. Do you want stability? Or do you want to be worried? I mean, this is your decision. Do you want to keep playing? Do you want to keep wrestling? Do you want to keep playing? You need to take action. 
what is going to what's going to what is going to lead to the most stability is because if there's not love it's only going to hurt you it's only going to hurt you i mean that's this right here is the 5 of pentacles it says torment there's there's a lot of I mean, it's like you're trapped. You're trapped. But it's almost like you can get out of it, but you but you're not. Why? Why are you staying in the situation that is making you feel trapped? Because of the lust? Because, okay, because strength is about finding the strength to face your fears, your demons, to deal with toxic situations. You have to find the strength to do that. It's not easy. Cruelty. You're dealing with somebody, I think, that is not emotionally available, but you don't want to believe it. Maybe it's somebody from your past. Maybe you have a lot of memories with this person or you've you've made some memories. Now, this is the Queen of Wands. It says Mother of Fire. It's about Well, she's very passionate very attractive, very wise. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, yeah. Now this is the two of pentacles reversed chance or change it says change not willing to change I think that you're hoping that somebody is going to change but it's not gonna happen with this being reversed it's like no no And I think you know it. I do. I think that you know it. But you're just sitting back and you're observing at this time. Mm. This says repletion. It's the ten of it's the ten of cups. It's the ten of cups reversed. So I think there's a relationship here that you don't want to let go of. And you may have to turn away. You may have to turn away from it because I don't see any growth. It's like it's going backwards. I think at one time it was really, really happy. You thought it was going to be fantastic. But now it's like you're not getting what you need out of it. And so right now you're probably going through a period of observation. You may be losing, you feeling it's really tearing you apart for sure. It's tearing you apart because you may be realizing that this is unbalanced. There could be some there could be some family feuds going on in your life because of this. You're 
there's definitely some unhappiness here. You could be dealing with somebody who is like stealing your energy. Maybe the love is dying, the love that you thought you had from for this person or that they gave to you. Maybe you realize that, you know, this is just lust and not love. And you're looking for something more stable. You need to find the strength This is strength. This is a card of strength as well. The strength, the focus. To stop holding on so tightly. I mean, this is the Four of Pentacles. If you think about it, it's about holding on tightly to something that doesn't really serve you. There's a lot of insecurities. And it could have to do with not wanting to be alone. So some of you may be holding on to somebody because you just don't want to be alone. You know, I don't want to be alone so I can, you know, I'm going to try to make this work and stick it out even though I... I really know that this isn't working and it's tearing me apart inside because there's there's this there's lust between us but it's not love. Is that what this is? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's a like I mean, this is the the Queen of Cups. This is about love. It's about self-love. But it's also about offering love and accepting love. You need to listen to your intuition. She's very, very intuitive. Be open to what you are hearing at this time because I think that you are receiving messages. And, you know, I have to tell you, there could be some gossip around you. You got you, There's some gossip. If you are a, a Gemini man, you may have two women to choose from. If you are a Gemini woman, you may have two men to choose from. One would be a water sign and one would be a fire sign. Same, women or men. I think you have two choices. You have a you have a choice between a water and fire. That's what it looks like to me. For men or women, and it feels as though you're probably in a situation right now that you may be in a negative situation that isn't making you happy, but you're staying there anyway. Because you don't want to be alone. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. But there's an opportunity to go down a new path. That could lead to a lot of success. Now, this, this right here is the Four of Wands. But it's, up, it's reversed. This card says Perfection. You're not in the perfect circumstance. Could be with the water sign. I don't know. But it's like it's falling apart. It is. If you look what's underneath it, something is falling apart. That's what it looks like to me with this nine of swords. It's like this is less than perfect. But I think that you have been charmed. I do think that you have been charmed by another person. And you probably are now enter entwined with them. And at one time there was a lot of happiness. But now it's like you're trapped. You're trapped here. The stability is good. You know, I like, I want stability. I don't want to be alone. But there's unhappiness. So you may be involved in a situation that is driven by lust. And at one time, there was a lot of happiness. Perhaps you thought it was love. I don't know. But it looks like now, it's like it's, it's falling apart. Now we have the King of Cups again, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You you definitely probably, you may be having some arguments with this guy, okay? He may not be putting in the amount of effort that you're put, be putting in. And this could be any sign, but I think this person can really... Um, they really have a lot of love to offer. But with the cards surrounding it, I mean, you've got you've to consider that. All these cards surrounding it, it looks as though this person is definitely not putting in the amount of effort that you are. I think this person is, maybe they don't really want to commit. 
you know they don't want to go that extra that extra step to commit to you um, and you may be deciding you know what if you don't if you don't want to commit then I'd be better off alone because I think you're dealing with somebody that is this person can in and, and the upright is handling their emotions very very well so I feel like this person is probably pretty hard to read you know, very hard to read. He's he's the master of his emotions at this time, and he's probably not giving you the commitment or something that you are looking for, and you're probably very worried about it. Mm, somebody is ungrounded. We have the the Queen of Pentacles. There's definitely options here, okay? So you guys have multiple options, and the person that you're dealing with has multiple options. Okay, I feel like we're dealing with with more than one person here. On on, I don't know, could be on the the other the, your partner's end or on your end. But there's multiple people here, and somebody is not being realistic, and not wanting to, you know, step out of fantasy. Perhaps you know that. So if it, if it's not love, it's not love. I mean, we don't have the Ace of Cups. We don't have the Two of Cups. We don't have the Lovers, but we do have the Devil. And we do have the Knight of the Knight of Wands. So I, I'm wondering if something is based on lust. You're dealing with somebody that, you know, is very charming and very char charismatic, but they don't really, really, really want to commit. I mean, you know, they might say they're they're in a relationship with you, but if you were to talk about marriage or talk about moving in or talk about anything like that, they're like, whoa, 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 something like that. You know, they don't want that. They don't want to go that extra mile, but they probably still want to, sleep with you you know that's what it looks like to me and I think that you're looking for more stability so I think you may decide to find that your strength to you know free yourself hopefully I mean yeah now this is the four of cups so it's uncomfortable it absolutely is uncomfortable to keep yourself trapped in this situation So I feel like you might decide to say, you know what, I'm not going to give you my heart if you aren't going to give me yours. For real. Now at the bottom of the car deck, we have bravery. This is a seven of wands. You have, to, you have to defend yourself. You have to be brave in this situation. So Gemini, I feel like you have an opportunity to have a major new beginning here. But you're, you're, okay, so this is a lesson. The world card comes out and it's the very first card where the lesson has been learned. The lesson in this scenario is, is strength and bravery. Seriously, it's finding the strength to get what you deserve. It's not about lust it's about love and you deserve love you deserve the ace of cups you deserve the two of cups and you deserve the ten of cups upright not reversed so i feel like you are dealing with somebody that you are probably going to probably have to make a change you're going to have to make a change here face your insecurities face your insecurities about being alone sometimes you know if you don't want to be in bed with a joker when Mr. Right shows up and miss your opportunity with the four of cups because I'm telling you what be a sad story when that happens Mr. or Mrs. Wright. Okay, you have options here. There's absolutely options, two or three options for you or the other person. And maybe that's why they don't want to commit because they have other options. There's definitely options here, okay? No doubt about it. Maybe the person that you're dealing with is really in love with another one. <laughs> I mean, hey, we have so many people here that it looks like we got problems. There's definitely some problems. So I think that 
One of the issues here is insecurity about uh, not having anybody. And if you really knew what you were worth, you wouldn't settle for somebody that just wants to sleep with you. Sorry. Grace and gratitude. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life in everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Somebody is definitely not grateful. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flow you, flow, flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, and somebody is not comfortable, okay? Whether you are confident or unsure, <laughs> son of a bitch, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, Feeling grateful will ease any challenge. Replace darkness with light and allow yourself to hear the chorus of the angels. The entire life, your entire life, can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. Now, what I see is that you're, you may not be grateful for this experience. But this experience will give you strength. Look at it like that. Uncomfortableness makes you stronger. It makes you find your ability to be, to be confident. You have no choice, right? It, the strength and uncomfortableness will eventually make you face your insecurities. Anyway, I feel as though there's a situation here where you may be involved with somebody that doesn't love you, but you don't want to hear that. That And this reading will not resonate with every single person, okay? It will not. So don't get your panties all in a bunch. If it's not for you, it's not for you. You'll know if it is. Your intuition is telling you with that inner guide card down there, the hair font. You know. You know. There's an opportunity for a major new beginning. Completion. Look at this as a lesson learned. Your new chapter is ready to start whenever you are. So is there new love? No. Nope. I think that you guys are dealing with somebody that has other options, and, and you do too. So I do think that you both have other options, but it has to be, it's gonna, not going to happen until you step over that finish line, okay? That's what needs to happen first. So not going to fill you up with a pipe dream. Talk to you later.